hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here and what we have here this follows when we have a raised to power m minus n which is same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n and this here we have 8 raised to power x over 8 squared equals to 48 on this side then next step Write this as 8 raised to power x over 8 square 8 times 8, that's 64. Then equals to, here we can write this as 48 over 1. The next step here, we cross multiply. That is 8 raised to power x times 1, same thing as 8 raised to power x. And equals to 48 times 64. Then next step here. Take the log on both sides. That is here. We have log 8 raised to power x equals to log 48 times 64 on this side. Watch this video to the end. Give it a thumbs up. Put your comment and share this video. Also, subscribe. From here, we apply the power of logarithm. When we have log m raised to power p. This same thing as p log m. That this here, what we have becomes x log 8 equals to log 48 times 64. The next step here, we divide both side by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8 which implies here log 8 cancelled each other here we have x now equals to log 48 times 64 over log 8 then next step here this follows log logarithm when we have log a times b this same thing as log a plus log b that is what we have here becomes x equals to log 48 plus log 64 over log 8 then next step here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 48 over log 8 plus log 64 over log 8. Then, yeah, we can write 64 as 8 times 8, that's 8 squared. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 48 over log 8 plus log 8 squared over log 8 then here we apply the power of logarithm 2 comes in and we have becomes x equals to log 48 over log 8 plus 2 log 8 over log 8 that is here log 8 cancelled each other we have 2 here and we have x equals to log 48 over log 8 plus 2 then also here 48 can be written as 8 times 6 then what we have becomes x equals to log 8 times 6 over log 8 plus 2 Watch this video to the end. Give it a thumbs up, put your comment, share this video, and also subscribe. Next step here, this also follows log logarithm, and we have x equals to log 8 plus log 6 over log 8 plus 2. Then here, we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log 8 over 
log 8 plus log 6 over log 8 plus 2. That is here. Also, log 8 cancel each other. We have one left. That is, we have x now equals to 1 plus 2, then plus log 6 over log 8, which implies this becomes x equals to 1 plus 2, that's 3, then plus log 6 over log 8. Then also here, we can write 6 as 2 times 3. Then what we have becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 times 3 over log 8. That is here. This follows the law of logarithm and we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 plus log 3 over log 8. Then also we separate this into two fractions. That is what we have becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 3 over log 8. Then next step here we can write it as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 cubed. And this is what we have becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 2 cube plus log 3 over log 2 cube. At this here, we apply the power of logarithm. 3 comes here and also here. And we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 plus log 3 over 3 log 2. That is, here we have log 2 cancel each other. We have 1 over 3 here. That is, x equals to 3 plus 1 over 3 times plus. Here we have 1 over 3 times log 3 over log 2. And from here, 3 plus 1 over 3, same thing as 3 over number 1 over 3, which is the same thing as 10 over 3. That is, here we have x equals to 10 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 3 over log 2. Then also here, we apply change of base. When we have log a over log b, it's same thing as log a to base b. That is, what we have here, follow this becomes x equals to 10 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 3 base 2. Next step here. We bring this together as one fraction. We have x equals to the SCM here. We have 3. And here becomes 10 plus log 3 base 2. That is the value of x here. We have 10 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here. Which is x equals to 10 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. That is, what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 10 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3 minus 2. Is this equals to 48 on this side? Then, here we can bring this part together as one. Well. This is 2 over 1. That is, we have 8 raised to power SM of here as 3. That is, here we have 10 plus log 3 base 2 minus 6 here now. This is equal to 48 on this side. Then, here, 10 minus 6, that's 4. 
we have 8 raised to the power 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 48 on this side? Then, yeah. And express it as 2 raised to the power 3, which is raised to the power 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 48 on this side? Here we have this power multiplied. Does this 3 here cancel each other? And we have 2 raised to the power 4 plus log 3 is 2. This is equals to 48 on this side. Here we apply a lot of indices. When we have a raised to the power n plus n, the same thing as a raised to the power n, times a raised to the power n. That is, here we have 2 raised to the power 4 times 2 raised to the power log 3 base 2. This is equals to 48 on this side. And 2 raised to the power 4 here, that's 2 multiply itself 4 times, that's 16, and times. Here we have a raised to the power log b to base a, which is equals to b. And this is the same thing as 3. This is equals to 48 on this side. And of course, 16 times 3 here give us 48. Which is equals to 48 here. And this left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 10 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next lesson. Bye for now.